Let's study the presidency of Barack Obama. The election of 2008 featured John McCain and Sarah Palin running for the Republican Party, and then Barack Obama and Joe Biden running for the Democrats. You can see how he did 365 electoral votes to McCain's 173. People were looking for a change in parties coming out of the years of the Bush administration and looking for a big change. And that's exactly what Barack Obama promised in his campaign slogan of change. So what was his presidency like? Obama turned to Keynesian economics, think the Great Depression, in order to address the Great or Long Recession of 2008. In the years following the George W. Bush um, administration, Obama enacted the American Recovery and Reinvestment Act of 2009, which provided a $787 billion stimulus package designed to create or at least save 3.5 billion jobs. It included $288 billion for tax cuts to stimulate spending and $144 billion to help state and local governments maintain jobs and services. So if you ever hear about the stimulus package, that's sort of what it's talking about early on in his time as a president with general motors and chrysler nearly uh, in in ruin and collapsing the government took temporarily uh, took over gm while it went through bankruptcy and guided the sale of chrysler to fiat which is an italian automaker the popular cash for clunkers program provided three billion dollars incentives to two americans to come in and scrap their old cars in order to promote sales and to purchase new more fuel efficient vehicles and then also you have the affordable care act of 2010 this is also known as obamacare which aimed to extend affordable health care to 25 to 30 million americans through combination of subsidies mandates and insurance exchanges while introducing medical insurance reforms to control health care costs the act required insurance companies to accept patients regardless of pre-existing conditions and to spend at least 80% of every premium dollar on medical care or rebate their customers. Republicans look at this and they oppose the law for its regulations and its costs, but many Americans were confused by its complexity. When it launched, the website also had many issues and, and, and problems for, um, for new uh, people trying to register for um, Obamacare online the opposition to deficits the national debt and obamacare coalesced a loosely and united conservative and libertarian movement that became known as the tea party it focused on economic issues limited government gun rights prayer school outlawing abortion and illegal immigrants you start to see again a rise of conservative movement in response to the the rise of the democrats out of the 2008 election so in the fall of 2010 republicans took over the house and reduced the democrats majority in the senate as well you see the tea partiers out doing their thing conservatives banding together again but in 2012 that did not halt the momentum that democrats carried over from 2008 election barack obama facing against republican candidate mitt romney and barack obama again wins this election you can see the electoral votes 332 to 206 still a good win for the democrats as well in 2010 congress repealed the clinton era don't ask don't tell policy to end discrimination of gays in the military in 2013 the supreme court also declared that the 1996 defense of marriage act was unconstitutional and let stand the california court's overturn of a state law banning same-sex marriage however the states remain divided on gay marriage at this point in time 35 states banned it all in all in their constitutions or by law. But in 2015, the Supreme Court ruled in the court case of Birchville versus Hodges that same-sex couples can marry nationwide, which established a new civil right in handling gay rights advocates in a very historic victory. In the 5-4 decision, the court ruled that the right to marry is a guarantee to same-sex couples by both the Due Process Clause and the Equal Protection Clause of the 14th Amendment to the United States Constitution. Also a part of the Obama administration includes the Affordable Care Act, and that was his chief legislation accomplishment of his first term. Besides the cost and complexity of law, the legal debate centered on whether the federal government had the authority to mandate Americans to buy health insurance or to pay a penalty. So in the 2012 case, National Federal um, of Independent Business versus Sibelius in NFIB, the Supreme Court ruled that people must purchase health insurance or pay a penalty and that it was an exercise of Congress's authority to levy taxes. 
that President Bush had appointed Chief Justice John Roberts as a conservative. Many conservatives were angry with Roberts' ruling in this particular court case. They said it was a betrayal. You're supposed to be conservative, yet you're going against your ideals. So it was decided in a further ruling that Congress's authority under the Interstate Commerce Clause limited Congress's power to force states to expand Medicaid. About half of the states used the ruling to justify not expanding Medicaid, which they said would be too expensive for them to afford it. So as a result, many low-income Americans did not receive health insurance. And so those are a few highlights of President Obama's time in office. Right now, President Trump is uh, doing what he can to try and repeal Obamacare. And so be thinking about what um, what, what is President Obama's lasting legacy? A lot of it um, will kind of revolve around some foreign policy, which we'll discuss in a future film. All right. I hope that was good and helpful. Please let me know if you still have questions. Thank you for watching.